Hello and welcome to this, the fourth video of my Skyrim playthrough. Now where we left off, we had just finished in the Bleak Falls Barrow and we are overlooking that beautiful, beautiful lake down there and we kind of need to find our way down so that we can head back to Jarl Balgruf um, and Farangar and go via Riverwood so we can take the claw back to Lucan. Um, right, let's try and head down this way and not hurt ourselves in the process. Let's, oh, here we are. Right. That's a little bit ominous, no? It's a little bit worrying actually, if I'm honest. And all those mammoth bones everywhere. Anyway, let's just sidle on by and pretend that none of that exists. Cool. Just double checking that we had the weapons I want equipped. Right. I thought I could hear wolves for a second then. Right. Let's head this way. Pretty sure. Oh, thistle. Pretty sure that over that way somewhere is the. Um, ah, there we are. Ooh. Take that. Take that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure over this way is. Uh, yeah, there's the hunter that um that we found on day one um let's go let's let's explore this side though because we've not done this side yet have we so let's ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, old lady. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. I get so lonely out here. Hmm. Just walked into your house. Sorry, that was very, very rude of me. Let's. continue along this way then and we'll head back to Riverwood since that's the first stop on our little journey whoa whoa what What do you mean, found me? Did someone send you after me? Another one? What's with all these necromancers coming after me? What is all of that? There's also a little flight of steps up here.
This is the uh, watchtower, isn't it? Yeah. Right, well, we're gonna head down this way. Those necromancers definitely sounded like they were looking for me specifically. Have I pissed someone off? I do not know. Right. We're back in Riverwood. Which is nice. Let's go and see Lucan. That's not much of a prank. Oh yeah? And what would you rather do? How about we play tag? You're it. Hey, no fair. Get her stumped. <laughs> That's adorable. Right. Anywho, in we go. Ah, Lucan, my old friend. Show those thieves not the sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Well, there it is. And we got money for that. How much money? Ooh, a fair amount of money. Oh, I think we can level up as well. Right, this time I'm not going to do Magicka because I'm not an idiot. I'm going to do Health this time, I think. And... What did I do last time? I think I did Smithing, didn't I? Ah... Uh. Sorry about that, I completely forgot that um, I have the volume on on my Mac, so you probably just heard me get a Facebook message, and that will be um, Miss Becky Demon who listens to and watches every single video I've done, so hi Becky, you just messaged me. Um, anywho, right, du -du -du -du. let's find... I think we will do alchemy. Alchemy, there it is. Potions and poisons are 20% stronger. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I think he's going to be kind of a crafter. He's a very self-reliant man. Um, I wonder, does that mean that we can improve our armor anymore? I don't know. Anywho, let's run back to white run we'll run as far as we can to white run anyway oh who are you we've got the unbroken all right another beautiful day though i'm sure there'll be some miserable weather to come Make our way down to White Run. Go and speak to Fardengar and Yarl Balgruf. It's 
really weird, really difficult to stay in the right mood for this right now. I watched um, the animated film Anastasia yesterday, and I've just got, um, oh, what's the song called? Uh, Rumor in St. Petersburg. Just got that stuck in my head. I'm kind of just half expecting all the NPCs to just jump out of things singing about the rumor in St. Petersburg. It would be hilarious. <laughs> Ooh, a butterfly. Run, 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 run. Because we are taking so long to get back. I kind of forget how far everything is away from it, everything else. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Oh, no, I do. You're the exact same guy that I said that about yesterday. Well, I say yesterday. I mean yesterday in the game yesterday. It was like a week ago. Need a ride? No, not right now, thank you. Right. Run, 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 run. One thing I do miss is the old days of um, Morrowind, where they had a f uh, where athletics was a skill, um, so you could make your character run faster by um, like have him facing a wall and just have him walk for hours and hours. Like just press up, like just get something to hold the key down. You could just leave it for hours and you'd come back and he would just sprint everywhere insanely fast. That was. A you, Morrowind was a brilliantly written game, but it, oh my god, it was so broken in mechanics. There was no upper cap on like anything, um, like any of the skills. There was absolutely no upper cap, so you could just keep improving and improving and improving. Like I used to have an alchemy skill of like twelve thousand or something. <laughs> it's like every potion I made, even the the shittest potion I tr could try to make was more expensive than any merchant had gold to buy it. <laughs> it was so broken. One thing I did like about that one though was that you, when you were buying things from people you could actually haggle with them and like, you could offer this is how much gold I'm going to offer you and this is how much gold you want for it. Will you go lower or this is what I want to sell. I want you to give me more money than you're offering and Depending on how well they liked you or something like that, it was actually a really nice system that it it let you kind of play those odds a bit. You see, the terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text, perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farangar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me visitor. show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege, back from Bleak Claw's Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My hmm. associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait Falls Barrow me. and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when Barangar. you deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. S 
So, Yurilev tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irlev, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irilev and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. Yeah, I'll call but that experience. I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Kill this dragon like before it can dragon. attack White Rock. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irilev. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. I don't believe a word of that, Irilev. I think you're brash and uncontrolled come on then I'll see you with the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered okay then I say do you not need to come I was going to follow you A nice day for a dragon hunt. Well met, Kinsman. Good luck. I hope you get there in time. Come on. No. Come on. I'll see you with the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. Here she comes. Wonderful. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A what? dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Carl, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no, so House dead. Carl. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours. If you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Yeah, right. sure, why not? Let's move out. Not got any plans for the day.
Ooh, getting close to the four, level four. Yeah. Let's go kill us a dragon. The reason the guards are running stupidly is because one of the um, mods that I put on makes them a lot stronger and a lot harder to kill, um, which I just think is realistic for trained soldiers. But it doubles their speed, so they're actually faster than Irelath is. Um, so they keep catching up with her and having to stop and wait for her to move on, and that's why they're running so stilted. Because unlike me, they run at full speed or they don't run at all. Um, they don't have control of themselves. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum. Where are you going? Come on, stop confusing us. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like you've been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Right, are we ready to take on a dragon? Probably not. But what are you going to do, eh? What are you going to do? At least we're not doing it alone. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Corky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardsmen, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Where does he come? Hello, save us. Oh, there he is. Okay. We need to jump in here too quickly pop that on we'll quickly favorite that and we will unfavorite that because I'm pretty sure oh okay no they're they're about the same cool longbow just looks better right ah there he is oh it's so hard to aim a bow and arrow when you're in the third person view. Where is he? Where is he? Whoa. Whoa. Ah, there's a bush in the way. Okay, I need a vantage point is what I need. Ah, oh, yes, killing shot. Let's go see this dragon. I was barely involved in killing that thing. Dragon. Oh my god, wait, what? 
What? What does this mean? Let's have a look, shall we? Ah, no, not skills. Magic. Shouts. Believe it. You're dragonborn. I don't know what that means. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Um Yoran does not really like he is Nord, but he's not he didn't grow up in Skyrim, so Mm. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Poof! My, the power my grandfather of used to tell the stories of the about dragonborn. the voice of the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septon himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yrileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yrileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <coughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecock. You ain't an orc. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Who knows? I'm gonna loot this dragon. I got the killing... Oh, dear. He had people in him. Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Oh. Take me some dragon bones and some dragon scales and all that gold. But... I think I'll leave the remains of the person. Mirmelnir. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White Run right away. Jarl Balgruff will want to know what happened here. We taught that dragon not to mess with Whiterun, didn't we? Oh, that was the person too. I mean, I'll take your arrows. And I'll take your torch, because you can never have too many of those. But, oh, poor person. Yeah, let's head back to Whiterun and inform Jarl Balgruff of what has transpired. I love how our reward for going into a um, undead filled crypt was, oh yeah, you're allowed to purchase per property now. Like, you still have to give me money for it, but you're allowed to do it. Like, what's that? Did he personally give permission to every single person in Whiterun before they could buy a house? Okay. Um, oh, I'm going right past. Let's run. Let's do some new armor. We're looking a little bit 
that's not exactly the best armor to wear in Skyrim. It's a snowy environment in a lot of places. We got really cold on that mountain. We should probably get some fur armor. That'd be nice. Right. Look, you've already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. We will hmm. find her eventually. You, you have, have news, news of our quarry. No. Oh. Creepy. They're like the gals from The Shining. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Rude. We'll find her eventually. Let's have a look and see if... See what we can make. Right, um... Body. Like, can I make... Okay, I can't make fur, I can only make hide. That's a bit annoying. I'd have to buy fur armor is basically what they're saying. I don't want to buy it. I want to make every... Oh, looks like we're sticking with this then. Let's run up to see Jarl Balgruff. And tell them about the dragon that we killed. I'm so glad we got the killing shot on that. That was quite cool. And since we only fired like three arrows. Run, 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 run. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Mm. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. I'm not going to use the word Dragonborn. I don't think he believes in all these myths and legends. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar, don't be so hard on Avenucci. 
I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I mean, I technically. Envy, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? I don't even know you. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office i'll also notify my guards of your new title wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now would we we are honored to have you as thane of our city dragonborn back to business proventus we still have a city to defend yes my lord So now the weapon he's given us is pitiful, really. I'm not an axe guy and it only does 9 damage. That is pitiful. My swords do 9 damage like. Absolutely pitiful. Okay. From what I remember, it's 5,000 gold to buy a house in Whiterun, which is insane. Um, I've got 1,300. We really... Oh. Of course. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Well, I wouldn't want that kind of... Lead the way. ...power. I am no different from the common man. I don't want special treatment. I am an honorable man of the people. Now, we've got a few things that we can try and flog now. We are but maggots, writhing in the filth of our own corruption, while you have ascended from the dung of mortality, and now walk among the stars. Yes, Sarah? Sarah? Sarah, what's that about? It's just plain old Yorinda the other day. Now it's all titles and being fancy. No, thank you. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. You're lovely. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. I hope I would want to hope so. Slavery is bad. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Right, let's sell. Oh, I've got a lot of. I've got a few amethysts there. And some dragon bone. Yeah, level up. I've got 
Got it. I've got so much to sell. Right. Come back. How much have we got now? Just over two grand. That's not bad. Everything's for sale, my friend. All right. You visit no other shops today. There are so many people in here. <coughs> Let's head out. Let's actually go to the armor shop because now that we've got a little bit of coin, we might be able to get some. A decent armor, maybe some better swords as well, could be nice. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Take a look. We've got steel swords. We've got two steel swords. Uh, those aren't bad, I suppose. So we could take two of those. And what have we got here? It's a thing, I don't want... Definitely don't want studded armour, that's just not something I would wear, I don't think. Where is studded what I'm wearing? What am I wearing? No, I'm wearing hide armour, aren't I? Because I made it, yeah. Definitely wouldn't wear steel. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I, I don't claim I to be the best. Looking to protect yourself or deal with Probably damage. selling you my two. Both of those. You can have the hunt. Do you want to sell the hunting bow? No, we could probably improve that hunting bow actually, so we'll sell that. Yeah. I'll take my leave. Let's see if we can improve the hunting bow. Ah, uh, requires leather strips. I can do leather strips because I've got a load of skins, haven't I? So we'll do that. And then we'll do a load of leather strips like that. Slightly better bow. I need a steel ingot to do the two steel swords. So I need two steel ingots, really. Uh, I got enough to smelt a steel ingot. No, I need iron ore. I could buy some. I have got coin. Have you met my father? Take a look. Let's have a look. Uh, iron ore. I only need two of those, I think. Until next time. So now I should have. Yep. So we do one, two of those. And then we should be able to improve both of those swords. So that bumps it up by one. That's not bad. So now... Beautiful. Okay. I feel like I've got a load of ingredients, haven't I? Yeah, quite. Oh. Got an unknown there and an unknown there. Okay, so we've got resist, ha restore health, resist magic. Okay, so tundra cotton and lavender, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do a couple of those and sell them. Let's run to Arcadia's. Oh, 
Those ingredients are hitting me a bit hard. Oh yeah, we've got a level up as well, haven't we? It's always good to know. Let's have a look. Use the alchemy lab. No, nope. what we're doing of we're doing this ourselves. So lavender and tundra cotton, isn't it? So we'll go one, two, three. And potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. I've not got any resist frost, have I? No. I think that's everything then. Yeah, I think that's everything we can make. So let's sell Is some potions. You have but to ask. You look rather pale. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Nope, but hopefully you will be interested in mine. Ah, oh, I should have used that. That would have been good. I'll keep that. Um, well, we can sell you all three of those because we don't use them. Um, probably sell you those as well because I never use those. Is this 5% of magic? Yeah, no, but those are the ones we just made to sell those. So the weak frenzy poison we may as well. Weak paralysis po poison may as well. Keep all my ingredients. May as well sell you my two dragon scales. There we are. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Let's quickly level up. We'll go stamina this time. And mm. You want to get better with a bow. Alright, so how much money have we got? Just over 2,000. We need to make a lot more money. Um, I mean, I suppose we could join the companions. That is something we could do. to hear the word of Talos because the so-called emperor is a coward that's right I said coward oh yes he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an old Mary sword they called it the white gold concordat well I call it blasphemy a true son of the empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. <laughs> let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. But it'll be your head on the chopping block. I'll leave you. Um, we're coming up to an hour now. We've done a fair amount. We killed a dragon. Um, which is, you know, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I kind of want you to be the other side of me, Lydia. So I can get a nice shot like that of the two of us. Oh, that's a nice place to end it, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been very kind of hit 
point A to B um, and get all the way through, but next time we will be taking a bit more of a slow wander around the vicinity of White Run, I think, um, having a chat about some of the Sky well, the Elder Scrolls lore in general, um, and hopefully just having a bit more of a kind of free form time. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video. Um, leave comments telling me what you liked, what you didn't like, the usual stuff. Give it a thumbs up if you like. I'm just doing the end ramble now because why the hell not? I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.